what's up my people welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and after you subscribe click the top bell icon so you can get notified when there is anything new on the channel when me go live if me upload whatever new is posted on the channel you get notified if you click the top bell icon and people again please like up the live for me please just like up this so as usual my people me have some things i'm gonna share with you guys and me i go start it off with some more upon the school youth we get beat up you go hear from one of the youth where help him go to the hospital where help carry him to the hospital you see me i say so the the headline read schoolboy heroes right so we're gonna get tonight people they are jamaica's real schoolboy hero the quick thinking and swift action of a group of schoolboys from bb coke high school here is being healed far and wide for rescuing and moving on foot Jaim Coleman 14 after he was beaten unconscious allegedly by a grade 11 student for stepping on his shoes. The group consisting mainly of three boys who lift the injured child and walk about 500 meters from the school through the busy town of Junction to a doctor's office last Thursday. Dujan Powell 14 one of the three boys told our news team that he rushed from his classroom to assist his friend upon seeing the brutal beating by the grade 11 student. E. Coleman was in the line collecting his phone. It was crowded, so he made a bad step on the boy's shoe. A few seconds after he was falling, he grabbed onto the attacker's jacket and the boy turned around and said, a badness you are pre and he punched him jaim fell and the boy was stepping in his face and neck said powell when i got down there i saw everybody videoing and we were saying jaim wake up and he wasn't responding i had to move everybody out of the way and take him up and i walk off with him added powell he said two other students joined in assisting to move coleman Kari and Dujan, another student with the same name, gave me a hand when we were getting closer to Junction. Nobody else offered to help us. Everybody was just asking what happened. We brought him to the doctor and called his mother, Powell told our news team. When we got to the doctor's office, they took off his shoe and said, we have to step outside. He said Coleman became conscious at the doctor's office, giving his friends the chance to request his mother's number. When he got to talk to him, we asked for her number and she came with his aunt. They then took him to Mandeville Regional Hospital, he said. Powell explained that he became friends with Coleman from grade 7 to now, being in grade 9. When I saw him on the ground, I was wondering if he was D-E-A-D -E because he wasn't responding. I have known him since grade 7. He doesn't give trouble. He is always giving joke. He doesn't trouble anybody. I feel sorry and sad for him. He could have lost his three points, Powell said. His father, Romain Powell, said the courageous action of his son and other students was heroic. I feel good to know that he has a heart to get the youngster to the doctor. He is his friend, the father said. Coleman's aunt Tamika Olness commend the schoolboys. It is sad when we watched the video and saw the three boys carrying him through the town to the doctor. It is very heartbreaking. Those boys are heroes and we want to thank them, she said. Coleman's mother, Chantel Goldburn, also expressed thanks to the school boys. Thanks to everyone for their prayers and all who reach out. Most of all, thanks to the three children who took my son to the doctor. She said on Saturday at Mandeville Regional Hospital. She said that following field efforts to get a brain scan done in Mandeville, 
Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton informed her of arrangements and her son was on Saturday transferred to University Hospital of the West Indies. So, the post, you know what I mean, longer, but I'm going to cut you right there, so people. So, big up to the three school boy them. We help this youth reach at the doctor office. You know what I mean? I see video with them, I struggle with them on the road. And nobody else for Lena helping on. You know what I mean? Big up to them three youth there. Especially the one we take him up first and I walk with him because I him did a walk with him all along and then them two youth there join in. You see me I say? So I them the type of friend people need around them to see you down and take you up and help you out. You see me I say? So big up to them. I am wish the youth a speedy recovery. As to the youth where do the aqua beat up the next youth. I don't know if it's about him because people make mistakes. You know what I mean? And everybody deserves a second chance. But you have to learn a lesson. In the meantime. So whatever lesson, the judge wants to teach him, hope him learn from that. You see me? Because him young same way. And more like the judge to mess up him life. Because I want to look a mistake. Although him could have taken this youth at three points. You know what I mean? So... People, just put your comment in at the comment section and like up the video, please and thanks. Press the like button, people. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Right? So we are going to move on to do any park, people. A six-year-old youth get can up and drop out in a do any park. So we are going to get right into the story. Six-year-old S-H-O-T and him drop out by G-U-N men in Dwayne Park. A six-year-old boy was S-H-O-T and him dropped out by G-U-N men on Tetford Avenue in Dwayne Park, St. Andrew, Saturday morning. He has been identified as Marquino Timlin, who was K-I-L-L when G-U-N men fired on a vehicle he was being transported in. The vehicle was being driven by the child's father. It was reported that around 7.30 a.m., the father had just driven from their house in a white Toyota IS when it was alleged that a white Toyota Probox motor car with two armed men aboard drove up. Why people this tragic man like the men police said open G U N fire to the rear of the IS S H O O T I N G up the vehicle and hitting Marquino in the back of the head. The father reportedly drove to the Duane Park police station and sought assistance to the hospital. A police unit transported the injured child to the Kingston Public Hospital where he was pronounced. No motive has been established for the attack, the police said. So the father know what go on. You see me, I said the father must know what go on. But he look like say, him no one tell the police them what go on. You see it? So RIP to this youth, yeah, you know what I mean? And condolences to the family. You understand? And the father, him should have maybe know better. Maybe him no know some man half find them where they still. You see it? So we are going to move on, people, to over in a Clarendon. Right? Clarendon man L with G-U-N in Trelawney traffic stop charge. The police have charged a 32-year-old Clarendon man following the seizure of a loaded G-U-N in a Toyota Mark X motor car during a traffic stop in Racecourse, Trelawney. Charged with possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition is Romian Foster of Kyle District. A date is to be set for him to appear in court. It is reported that a team from the Falmouth Police was conducting a stop and search operation along the roadway on Thursday afternoon when a white Toyota Mark X was signaled to stop and checks made. According to the police, a Taurus 
nine mm pistol and five nine mm rounds were re um, discovered. Foster was taken into custody and subsequently charged after being interviewed. People, you see the Mark X vehicle them. Remember me tell you see a police magnet them because them see a only chopper and bad man drive them the vehicle you know you have people in you know, them good good work we buy them the vehicle they still you know but the chopper them as they make a money is either a axio or a mark x you see me so we are gonna move on people two men get caught up and drop out in a saint Anne. so this is how them say happen uh, mm. two men were shot and them three points take moments apart in civil rights St. Anne's Bay in St. Anne on Sunday morning. The deceased are 37-year-old Tyrone Duffus, a laborer, and 40-year-old O.J. Grant, otherwise called Rooster, an electrician, both of civil rights addresses. According to police reports, around 12.05 a.m., Duffus was at a shop in the community when he was sponsored upon by GUN men who SHOT him several times. Lawmen say the GUN men then went to Grant's home in close proximity to the shop and kicked open his door and opened fire at him. The police were called to both scene of crime. Duffus and Grant were taken to hospital where they were pronounced. Police are yet to establish a motive farther k-i-l-l-i-n-g leave your comments in the comment section so we are going to move on people i may I ask you guys just like up the life for me you know what i mean click the thumbs up you know what i mean and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and click the top bell icon to get notified when anything new is on the channel so we are going to move go over this youth here we escape out of hospital, him did on the police guard. Man accused of R-A-P-I-N-G and K-I-L-L-I-N-G, 8 year old escape police guard at hospital. A man hunt has been launched for a man who was on the police guard at the St. Anne's Bay Hospital for the alleged R-A-P-E and M-U-R-D-E-R of nine-year-old Talia Thompson after he escaped custody on Sunday morning. The details of the incident are not yet known, but police say the 27-year-old managed to escape around 12.15 a.m. The lawmen say measures have been put in place to have him back in custody in the shortest possible time. The accused was under police guard from Sunday, September 24, pending charges for the incident. Young Talia was allegedly RAPE and she get, you know what I mean, her three points taken on Saturday, September 23 by the man who said to be a close family friend. He was taken to hospital after reportedly SHOOTING himself and inflicting several STAB wounds to his body in an attempt to dash away himself. You see me? But he never worked, people. You see me? So them have him a hospital under police guard. So a film picture that on a just see. So anybody will know where him there. Help the police them for recapture this boy here. Yeah, because of wickedness him do. And if I, if him know where him know, him just turn in himself. You see me? Because when it come to them thing there, Nobody not like people who do them something there. You see it. R.I.P. to this little girl. You know what I mean? And condolences to the family. So people who not have to know who not left on a youth them around or who not make on a youth be friendly with. Not because them um, a neighbor and you know them for years. You don't know where you know a man mind. You see me, I say, you don't know when a man intention. You see it? So, be careful of who not left around on a youth. 
You see me? So, I can move on, people. Boy, all the elder them. Now nah, go on good, my people. So, this is our go on. Granddad, grandson, friends arrested for burglary in St. Elizabeth. The police have arrested four persons who were reportedly breaking into a house in Black River in St. Elizabeth on Saturday morning. Those in custody include two minors and one of the minor's grandfather. The minor are both age 15 years old. A 19-year-old male was also held by the cops. The police also seized items that were taken from the house and a car that was being used as transportation for the robbery. According to head of the St. Elizabeth Police Division, Acting Superintendent Coleridge Minto, the police in Black River were informed that a house in the parish capital was being burglarized. An operation was quickly arranged to catch the persons who were breaking into the dwelling. On the approach of the police, the car that was there for transportation was driven off, reportedly leaving the miners inside the house. The car eventually crashed into a light pole and the occupants of the vehicle were detained. In response to the development, Minto said he would be seeking to have young men in the parish becoming part of mentorship programs through uniform groups such as the Jamaica um, Combined Cadet Force or the Police Youth Club Network. So people, the person if you show them you are the right way, a him a go pan robbery with them or him a carry them pan robbery. Chaja. Why may I tell you? If the head of the stream dirty, the bottom are go dirty too. You see what I say? So people, me I go give you an update upon the youth who escaped from the hospital because them penalized the two police guards where they did it. Uh, watch him. It look like say, them drop asleep. Cops removed from frontline duties in probe of SKP at hospital in St. Anne. So the same youth people were escaped. You know what I mean? Because two police will lose them job. But them should uh, watch it look like say them drop asleep as me say. The two members of the constabulary force who were on guard at the time of the escape of the man charged with the RAPE and MURDER of St. Anne School Girl Talia Thompson have been removed from frontline duties as major investigation is being undertaken. Try Ellis 27 SKP from the St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital on Saturday night where he was being treated. I remember him try that show himself, right? The police say Ellis who has been formally charged with RAPE and MURDER has several serious wounds to his face and upper body. He reportedly attempted to dash himself after allegedly SEXUALLY -E assaulting the local girl, right? I know that did it still, but an STABINGER to DEATH. So after him take where him to take from her, him juke her up and take her three points. The attack happened in the community of Discovery Bay, St. Anne. The police say the Inspectorate and Professional Standard Oversight Bureau is probing the circumstances of Ellis' escape. A full report is expected to be submitted to the police um, commissioner by the end of the day. The police say all available resources from the St. Anne's Division have been deployed to recapture Ellis. Residents in the immediate environs of the hospital or anyone with information about his whereabouts are being urged to report any suspicious activities to the police at 119 to Crime Stop at 311 or to the NIB tip line 
at 811. Residents should expect to see a heavy police presence in the area and are being asked to cooperate with the authorities. Persons are reminded that harboring a felon is a crime. So people, I probe, I probe what happened. You know what I mean? They might investigate if the two police them would the up on duty have nothing to do with the youth escaping. Like if them get no pay off and let go the youth. But me not think say nothing like that go on still. You see me? Me not think nothing like that go on. Me just think say them jump asleep and the youth escape. And that me feel say go on. Nothing no go on. Them not get no money. Them not get no pay off. You see it? So like up the video people please and thanks please click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and click the top bell icon to get notified hotel worker d-i-e-s in motor vehicle accident in trelawney why people that carry a mash right up a female hotel worker died as a result of injuries she sustained during a motor vehicle accident in Trelawney on Sunday morning, the deceased has been identified as 30-year-old Janiqua Johnson, affectionately called KKR Butt Up Albert Town in the parish. Oh, called KK. Oh, she come from Butt Up. What a place named Butt Up? Reports are that about 6.30 a.m. Johnson was on her way to work in a white Toyota Mark X motor car while traveling along the Hyde Hall main road. The driver was reportedly attempting to negotiate, attempting to negotiate a corner when he lost control of the vehicle which plunged into a ditch. All three occupants of the vehicle sustained injuries and were taken to the Falmouth Public General Hospital where Johnson was pronounced. The other two are still being treated. The Chilani police are investigating. So people look upon the car or the car mash up. I care these people. Look upon it or the mash up. To all of the drivers them out there, who don't take time and drive bridging. Jaja, the three person in I car could have get that way. You know what I mean? A one of them drop out and the next two of them lucky them better sleep on the side where them sleep on the night before. You know what I mean? Jaja, R.I.P. to this woman. You know what I mean? And condolences to the family. People, you better you reach late than never reach at all. Take time and drive. So we are going to move on, people. We are going to go over in a Duane Park again. Female teacher hospitalized after found in Duane Park with G-U-N-S-H-O-T wounds to her brain people to her head. Seen a female teacher has been hospitalized after she was found along a roadway in Duane Park St. Andrew with G-U-N-S-H-O-T wounds to the head last evening. It has been reported that the woman who is from Grand Spen was last seen entering a vehicle after visiting the Grand Spen police station. The Grand Spen community has been tense following several SHOT SHOOTING incident recently. The SHOOTINGS have prompted a curfew and heightened police presence. So the whole heap of can in Wagwan in a grand spend people, the police have to, have, have to find them way in the community to kind of calm down. The whole heap of can in Wagwan. So maybe if the police them never in the community right now, would I hear about some more can in? You see it? Chaja boy, I tell you no people. And it all started. I don't know if a reprisal are going but a man get can up and them say a jashi do it. You see it? And from that, a beer can in people. So as me say, me no know if the can in them a reprisal, but a couple people drop out since the man we get can up with them say a jashi do the can in. You know what I mean? Someone want to tell me what to think. In the comment section, people, and I go share this thing. I would do know 
a love triangle cause a man forget him three points taken seen and I'm picture this and this happened over in a St. Elizabeth people. Police probing possible love triangle K I L L I N G in St. Elizabeth. Police are probing the S H O O T I N G dropout of a man in burnt ground St. Elizabeth on Sunday evening as reports suggested that the incident is linked to a love triangle. Police named the deceased as Orlando Blake, 35, otherwise called Lance, a linesman and a resident of Old District near Santa Cruz. A police report said about 2.15 a.m., Blake visited an address at Fagan Town, Burnt Ground. While there, he was SHOT multiple times and taken to hospital. Unconfirmed reports suggest that Blake went to visit his girlfriend's house at Fagan Town when he was SHOT allegedly by a licensed machine holder. Reports suggest that the licensed firearm holder is a businessman and father of the woman's child. He is also said to be the husband of a farmer police sergeant. People, mix up, mix up. That one you look away. You know what I mean? So the man we call him up at the woman baby father. See? And this man you gonna link the woman. So them said this youth ya him work for JPS. You see me, he's a contractor. Right? So maybe I look up bun, he might give the man we have the license machine. And the woman tell him to come link her. In a them hours there. You see it. But maybe this man. No one go on and hide off. And attack him. You see what I say? Why people. You see when it come to woman. We as man have to be very careful. Because enough of them woman here. Them lie to you know people. You see me. Woman we lead you in a trap you know. Woman we are data man. And tell you say she not have no man, you know. You see me because woman know if it's peace out them thing, you know. You understand me, I say? So maybe the woman still a date to her baby father and I tell this man, you say, nothing now go on between she and the baby father and some man stubborn to, you know, people. Some man we know say the woman have a man and still go check the woman in her yard, you know. You to know, be careful. Be very careful. Don't make sick a little coachy. Uno go dash one or three points. Make a woman can link you. No go no woman yard go link them. If I your baby mother, that's okay. But if it's a girl, we are date. Don't go link them. Woman can't have a jealous boyfriend in a man. And still I make you can link her, you know. A woman can't have a jealous ex-boyfriend when I want to see no other man with her. And you get caught up. If I your baby mother, yeah, you can go link your baby mother. But if it's a girl where you deal with and you don't deal for more than six months, don't go link no woman bridging. You see me I say? And to all of the jealous man them and the man them when you want the woman them chat to no other man. Bridging, you know, make nobody. The woman is our own person. If she want to deal with you, she deal with you. If she don't want you, move on with your life. You see me I say? And even if the woman I tell you say you are the only one, and you find out, say, boy, she a date the next man. If you can't live with it, you live with it. If you can't live with it, left her make she go on with the man. De. Don't call no man. Don't dash with no man. Over no woman. You see me I say, and to all of the man them to again, don't make no woman lead the astray bridging. So people, leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber, and click the top bell icon to get notified when anything new is on the channel. Again, give me a thumbs up people, thanks for watching, alright, just so me I go end the video, thanks for watching again, and see you.
next time when me drop a next video bless up on yourself <laughs>